It came to my attention that a lot of people don't actually know how to use the player shop function. So in today's video, we're going to be going over that as well as a small update on the mission pass in case you accidentally bugged out your mission pass. But first of all, if you're new to the channel, I upload PSO2 content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first step is accessing your player shop terminal, which is the VisiPhone, the purple machine. Talk to it, go to personal shop. If it's your first time coming in or if it's like the first time you access it as you log in, you're going to need to type in your pin code or whatever your password is. Once you've typed it in, then you'll be greeted with this menu. Then we want to go to product search. So a lot of people just type in whatever they're looking for in the item name. However, if you watch my last two videos where I talk specifically about Sea Gleam and Petal Gleam, those are S abilities. Those are augments. They are not item names. So what you have to do is you have to type here at the augment search settings. Now, if this menu doesn't pop up over here, all you have to click is augment name, perform multiple searches. Click on this and this menu will pop up right here. So the next thing you need to do is you have to type the exact name. If you've never seen Petal Gleam before, if you've never seen Sea Gleam before, it will not show up here. So you have to type the exact name S1 colon C Gleam. Capital letters don't really matter here. And then once you've done that, you're simply just going to click search by price. Once that comes up, look, all these items over here have popped up and they all have S1 C Gleam on them. Now the prices have increased quite dramatically. Um, the last time I bought these, they were like 30,000 and they increased to 100,000 now, 200,000 even. Uh, it's uh, pr pretty insane. But the one that I want to point out is Petal Gleam. Capital letters doesn't matter. Like, look, we'll type in all MLG style Petal Gleam, right? So like we're typing in MLG cap style, it won't matter. You click search, you'll still be able to find it. The only issue is the price has went up dramatically. Like when I bought Petal Gleam, it was like 200K, and now they're like 1.3 mil, 600, 800K. So they went up in price dramatically, but it's still affordable, I'd like to say. Now, once you've searched it before, next time when you just type S1 and you do search, you'll see that all the different S1s that you've seen before will pop up here. So you can see that Leaf Gleam is here because I've seen that before. You'll see Moon Gleam is here as well, Petal Gleam. And like all the S1 abilities that you've looked at before that you've actually seen and that your character has knowledge of will automatically pop up here. However, if you've never seen the item, then you're going to need to type the exact name. However, if you're looking for a capsule, then you're going to look in item name. Capsules will not show up if you just do augment search settings. And the thing that you have to type with capsules is you're going to have to type in add. So add S3, for example, and then now we can do search and you can see here add S3 metal flow. And this is because I've seen this item before. Now, if you've never seen the item before, you're going to have to type in the full name. So uh, let's check out Petal C song first. Let's see if there's actually an item here. Um, unfortunately not. So let's check out metal flow. And wow, there's no metal flow either. Everything just get bought out or something. Precision will is that here? Okay, yeah, we've got precision will. Precision will's really good as well, by the way. If you are a crit build, I know a lot of you guys were talking about that in my comment section because you guys thought that I was uh, augmenting on my braver. Um, don't worry, on my braver, both my S2 and S3 abilities are precision will because uh, you know crit damage since I have 100% crit rate. But I'm very surprised that there is no more metal flow that it is sold out. That is very very surprising. Well, I guess if you do want to restock the market and maybe make some money, then you guys can go farm for metal flow. This drops from the Gundam urgent quest. So Armada of Annihilation, you can run that if you get lucky, get metal flow that you can pop that onto the market and make some profit. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is the mission pass. So you can see over here that I have the mission pass open. I also have the mission pass gold ticket enabled. However, remember that one day where the mission pass went down, if you bought a mission pass gold ticket before it went down and didn't use it, you might get this bug where you're not able to use the ticket. And if you get that bug for whatever reason, you can go refund your ticket. Let me show you. So I'm just going to buy a ticket just to show you how to refund it. So when you go to buy and store over here, you may have bought your mission pass gold ticket over here for 200 SG. So I'm just going to buy one. 
So product purchase. Now after you buy it, it doesn't go into your inventory. It's kind of silly. It actually goes into your storage. So uh, don't freak out when you don't see it. You just type in gold search. Here we go. See mission pass gold. And now since my gold ticket is already activated, I won't be able to use this gold ticket until the next uh, scratchy. So it's kind of just sitting there and is wasting my star gems. So I want to get my star gems back. Or maybe you are you have that bug and you can't use the ticket and it's annoying you because you're like, well, I just wasted 200 star gems. Why is there a cutscene here? Who? What? There's an earthquake. Of course it's freaking Petro. Get out of my way, Petro. Massage more like assault. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a massage. I see Petro. Uh, good good to meet you. Bye. All right, anyway, once we come to the shopping plaza, we're going to go to the swap shop. I freaking hate Petro. You're going to come here, come to the swap shop, and we're going to talk to the swap shop specialist, Cameo. And talk to him, go to swap shop 2 over here, and you're going to notice right here, 200 star gems, mission pass gold ticket. You're going to click on this, put in your mission pass gold ticket, exchange, and boom. You have gotten your 200 star gems back. As you can see right here, I'm back to 476 star gems, all right? So now that you've actually gotten your 200 star gems back, how do you actually activate the mission pass gold ticket? It's actually quite simple. All you need to do is unlock a certain tier. So for example, I've unlocked tier 21 over here. If I did not have the gold ticket, I would not be able to pick any of the items down here. But in order to unlock it, all you have to do is click here. You click on an item. So, you know, maybe I want the wild ponytail over here and click take. Now it's not going to say take over here, it's going to it's gonna say something else, but you're going to click on this and it's going to tell you that, hey, you do not have the gold mission pass, you can't take this item, would you like to buy the gold mission pass? And you just click yes, and once you click that, it will unlock the gold mission pass and you'll be able to get all the goodies down here, as well as get your 200 star gems back when you get to tier 32, I believe. So that is really, really nice. So again, PSA, January 6th of 2021 is the cutoff date for Season 11's Mission Pass. So you don't have that much time left. So please, please, please work towards Tier 30 ASAP because, uh, you know, key Rivolate. You need this in order to make your Rivolate weapon. Now, there is another way to get a Rivolate key. However, you do need 800 titles, I believe. And you can get one from there. You can also farm it from Ultra Hard Luther, I think. That also has a low chance of dropping key rivulets, but uh, I think that's about it, to my knowledge at least. But either way, just please pick it up. This is like the easiest one over here, just get to tier 30. Now of course, if you're stuck on tier 4 for whatever reason and you're still like, wow, I've only got a couple days, like try your best to get to tier 30 and then like maybe on the second last day or on the last day, if you're still not there, you could always purchase tiers. Now it does cost SG, as you can see, it'll cost 25 SG per tier. So if you are like really close, like maybe you're on like tier 25, 26 already on the very last day, you might want to spend a little bit of star gems just to get the uh, key revelate. But if you start now, I think you should be fine. Just start now and make sure that you finish all of the tier missions over here. These are the ones that give you EXP, that unlock the star thingies, that give you tiers. So just focus on all these missions over here, all right? So in order to get to this menu, it's very simple. Press escape, press shift once, and you're right here. You've got your daily missions, weekly missions. Just focus on the tier missions, okay? Anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. Can I say except you're welcome?